Hello guys, welcome back to another video. This is my platinum walkthrough for the medium. We're, we're going to get all the trophies. And this is going to take you probably about somewhere around 2, 2 hours and 30 minutes if you follow this video. I've got a text guide to go along with this. And some of it is quite linear, but there's quite a lot of collectibles we have to collect. And a lot of it is missable because you can't replay anything. If you miss anything, you'd have to go through it all again, collecting all of the items again. Because you normally have to collect all the items in a single playthrough. But I'll take you through it all guys as we go through the game. So I'm going to put brightness on full just because it makes it better for the video. And I'm going to try and make the speak names quite visible, the subtitles. And I also go in, always go into enhance controls and turn off the adaptive triggers and the motion sensor function. In gameplay, you can put on show HUD and um, you can put insight mode to toggle and hold breath to toggle and events auto completion at the bottom there's little tiny puzzles on some collectibles or s sometimes when you're using a specific item but if you put that on auto completion it automatically completes them for you so it just speeds the game up a little bit I'm covering this because it's free on PS Plus Extra in October 2022 it's quite an expensive game this and I don't the game's not bad but it's not really much to it I don't think it's worth the full price at all so yeah I'm, I'm sure a lot of players gonna pick this up just because of it it's free and probably wouldn't necessarily have bought it full price okay so this way you begin guys way. it begins with a cup of coffee I just had to find his special tie clip. yeah so I'm gonna walk you through it all along the way, point out all the collectibles to you. Yes, I follow the cat. Into his room at the end on the left. Yeah, nice to see her again. And once dialogue is finished, interact with the cabinet on the left, Jack's room. And you want to interact with the little case at the bottom, open it, and you'll find nothing's inside. And then we're gonna push a clock back in a second. There it is, so you hid the tie clip underneath a clock. Thought I wouldn't find it. Yeah, you want to take the tie clip from underneath a clock. Yeah, everything we do here, guys, is either needed to progress a story or for a trophy. I'm not doing anything which isn't needed. That includes examining items which you don't need. You want to come to the kitchen and pick up the cat food. No, it's not for us. You want to come over to cat bowl, cat bowl and place it down there. And there you go, watch your face. Dig in, dig in, fella. And you'll get that trophy, famished feline. Once you've got that trophy, come outside and we're going to leave we the upstairs from Jack's funeral home. apartment. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. And yes, that does sound very, very weird. If it wasn't for that, no matter what you say about it. Use my powers. Yeah, she's a medium, as you know already. She's got some sort of powers. So you're going to come down to the ground floor, go outside, and we're going to go to McDonald's. Now we're going to go into the funeral home. It's just to the left of the van. We're gonna to go to the pet food shop, get some more cat food, because it's all gone. Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it. God bless Jack. Not a curse. Yeah, this door here, you've already got the key in your pocket. How convenient. Yeah, the funeral home key. Interact with the door, the um, keyhole, and slot in the funeral home key and turn it to the left. Not right, because that will not do anything, that will have no effect. And then come into Jack's study, or I guess a funeral home office, and interact with the desk and pick up the prep room key from the book in the middle. As if it's saying, please grab me, you need me soon. And then come out here to this door, and use the prep room key to unlock the way to the prep room, who knew? And they're going to go down, guys, into this sort of it's more like a morgue, morgue type area. Yep, I currently have number one at the moment on the leaderboards on PSN profiles. See if you can beat me, I dare you. Yeah, so come here and uh, make sure you're ready. So, um, yeah, make sure your shoelaces are tied up and your sleeves are rolled up. Open the morgue, the morgue drawer, and pull out Jack. Come on, Jack, time to wake up. Come on, buddy. Come on, dinner's ready. 
That's it. Interact with him and then interact with his collar. And then this tie on the stool will let you pick it up. Then pick up the tie and combine the tie clip with the tie to make Jack's tie with the clip. That's the name of the item. And then interact with Jack again and use Jack's tie with the clip on his collar for a cutscene and to update the objective. Yep, and then I'm going to go back upstairs to that office. Oh, it was a shadow. Yes, yeah, just follow the shadow. Yeah, so um, like I was saying, guys, I've got a full text guide for this. So if you want to look ahead or you'd rather follow the text, uh, it'll all be linked in the description. A full text guide which you can follow by itself. Whatever you decide on. So follow the weird shadow into this room. You close the door behind you. Cheeky bugger could have left it open for us. And then interact with the broker vase. So the cat nick, the cat uh, broken. What's your face? The vandal. Don't worry, it wasn't me, it was a cat. Yep, another cutscene. So skip through these cutscenes. Uh, be very careful. I'm sure you're watching the cutscenes, but sometimes the game can crash. It crashes for me about four times, I think, while I was recording this. So that probably made me lose about 15 minutes. Yeah, recording this, yeah, I lost yeah, probably 10, 15 minutes from crashes. You'll get that trophy, the last goodbye, and you'll spawn here. And by the way, you want to keep using your insight. Try to have your insight always active where you can until you pop the insightful trophy. Not. Now in this room, pick up this postcard and you'll get a clay ball which you need. And you get a trophy there from Neva with love. Yeah, that's one of the postcards that you need. And that is postcard, that's ground keepers postcard, one off 11, Neva says hello. When we pick up a collectible, I'll point it all out to you guys so you know exactly what we're collecting and what the name is. We're gonna have to do better than that. And then jump over the dumpster, because nothing can keep us out of this forest. We could have just gone up the hill on the side. And now you can run. I have it on toggle, uh, sorry, on running, I have it on hold. Just because sometimes when you have it on toggle, sometimes it can be awkward to see when you're winning or not and sometimes in like a, a chase sequence you might press a button to run uh, when she's about to run anyway and then you actually stop her from running so yeah when it comes to um, running you want that on hold but the other ones you can put a toggle holding your breath and in sight you can put that on toggle but running you want it on hold uh, here you can activate your insight now so you always want your insight active guys because there's a trophy related to having it active for 10 whole minutes yeah 9 minutes 59 plus 1 second so yeah just always have that active and to pop the relevant trophy I think it's called insightful that's for using your insight so yeah just always keep your insight active guys until the trophy pops it should pop similar time to when it does for me but I think the insightful trophy and there's another one I forget the name now, which should pop at the end. I think they're actually tracked in the um the trophies are tracked like the percent will increase like each minute you use it. You run over here and you'll come to sort of bridge guys with the archways. You can come through this gate on the right and squeeze through the wall. Something yeah, something happened here. We best investigate. What could go wrong? Yep, this would make me very claustrophobic, this. Yep, brain freeze. You'll get brain freeze sometimes. You remember that ice cream you had earlier. And you'll get a traumatic episode of brain freeze. Yeah, that'll happen occasionally. Just to try not to eat too many ice creams and you'll be okay. So climb up this ledge and then go left. Yeah, this is what happened. The game splits into two. The material world and the spirit world, as it's called. Material world is the real world on the left, if you want to call it the real world. And the world on the right is the spirit world. You're going to shimmy across this ledge and get the magic energy, guys, from that spirit world. In the um, spirit world. Embrace it. Embrace your destiny.
Who knows? As long as you've got the energy, that's all that matters. The name of his Nobody cares. Well, I don't. So he's just shimmy back across. Now we've got the energy. You'll see you've got all the mushrooms on your left arm. Mushrooms equal power. Remember that. Behold the power of the mushrooms. Yeah, so come back down to that fork. Keep your insight active, remember. In any case, I figured I could use it. And use the spirit blast. Hold R2 to charge it and then release it on that um, electrical panel. Conduit. And that should activate the power to unlock the gate. There you go. It's a, it was a, a electronic lock. Um, more brain freeze. Do not eat ice creams too quick. That what happened. That is what exactly what happens. But never really living in either. So just follow the path through the forest now. It's a bit gloomy and depressing. Just carry on. Just keep to the left and eventually you'll reach a fallen log. Just ignore the birdies, they're not violent in this game. The birdies are very friendly. They've been set to friendly behaviour in the AI settings, so you do not need to worry about any crows nibbling at you. Any squawks you hear are friendly squawks. Here it is, the fallen log. Crouch underneath it for a cutscene. Or climb over the top. I think that would have been easier. She looked a very <laughs> looked like she having a lot of difficulty crouch beneath in that. So you'll resume control in this huge car park. It's abandoned. But head to the far left corner and you'll find one car. Which has no doubt got a massive, expensive parking bill by now. The owner will become bankrupt once he read, opens this letter from the parking uh, company. Yes, yeah, so interact with the red car. Just give uh, Marianne a second to try and chat the car up. Yep, and take the postcard from the chair. That's postcard, groundkeeper's postcard 2 off 11 and it's called Honest Work. And then flick the lever on the dashboard to pop the bonnet. Lift the bonnet up and take the screwdriver. That's all we need. Hello. This could come in handy. Oh, shit. Cheeky. What the hell? Little booby trap there. Or was it a little, um, was it a mating call? Who knows? We don't have time to um, investigate. We're just going to head over here back to the right. And see the telephone box? It will start ringing. Oh, telephone's ringing. Is that for me? Let's go and check. Hello? Um, Marianne's hotline. Yeah, so pick up the phone box. Uh, sorry, don't pick up the phone box. Pick up the receiver and press L1 to activate your insight. And you'll find an echo on it and you'll get them two trophies. Left behind, find an echo and call the scent. Find an echo of a mysterious caller. And then come down here and you'll pop the story trophy. Welcome to Neva. And then use the screwdriver on this door to unlock it. Yes. Yeah, if only we had a pouch of screwdrivers, we could unlock any door in this game. Yep, a mechanic would have no problems getting through this game. Yeah, that trophy we just got fully echoes. There's certain objects around the game, and when you pick them up, you can press L1, activate your insight, and then rotate it until you can see like it's... I don't know what you call it, it's just like a... It looks like a little worm, I guess, on it. And then um, that will glow and it will trigger an echo. You have to get all them echoes for a trophy. There's 28 altogether. Um, I'm going to walk you through them all. That's the first one. But if you've got auto complete on in the options, all you have to do is activate your insight when you're examining the object. And that will sort of trigger the echo automatically after a few seconds. Just make sure the echo is triggered before you back out. You know when the dialogue has started. Uh, so in here, inside the hotel, pick up the shoe on the left. What if you do, you do not sniff it. And activate your insight to get the echo on the back of it. That would be echo number two Hello? of 28. And then come Anyone? through the reception area. Thomas? You there? No, nobody's here. But come in here and somebody's left a postcard. Groundskeeper's postcard, three off 11. That is promotion. And then come over to this little gate for a little cutscene. 
and that will progress the story a little bit. And then come back through and press a bell, hoping hoping to get some service. Calm your ass down. Answer the bell. Yep, press a bell. I wonder if he's going to answer. Interesting. Yep, you'll meet the happiest kid I've ever seen, called Sadness. Yep, you'll get a trophy of the cheerful kind, and then after that cutscene, come into the elevator and press any button. Sadness. I wished I knew her real Don't think about Sadness, it's depressing. Yeah, the elevator will malfunction on your way up. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to go out of body. Yeah, we're going to have an out of body experience. No, it's not as good as it sounds. So scale out of body here, and then go through the um, doorway, the elevator door, and then come down the steps, and when you see that spirit well over there, you're going to go and get the magic energy. Stay under for too long and it just pulls you in. Just if you see any ice creams, do not eat them. Remember, you'll get brain freeze. brain freeze it's the beginning of all migraines so I've, so I've been told so get the magic energy and then hold circle to go back to your body and then do a spirit blast and that should activate the electrical box on the side of the elevator you don't need to go outside to do the spirit blast inside that will turn the power on and then go up to floor two and then go into the hallway just on the left of the camera for a cutscene we see the footprints yeah little cutscene here Yeah, pretty walls. Pretty decker in here. So just run down the hallway and you'll get swarmed by a pack of moths. Hold R1 Fuck. to use your spirit shield. Yeah, because apparently moths are deadly in this game. They can kill you. Come down here and there'll be a doorway on the left in the um, spirit world to go out of body and go inside and pick up the odd key from there yeah a very odd place to put it hence the name the odd key Sadness. once you got it come back into the hallway come back towards the camera and unlock the doorway on the right just before the moths you see odd key to unlock it place the odd key in the odd lock there you go and they can head inside sadness where are you I've got an ice cream for you promise it won't give you brain freeze yeah come through the bathroom and then into the room at the end and pick up the telephone there's an echo on this telephone by the way pick up the receiver I don't mind picking it up as you can see the line has been cut yep and then use your insight guys to find an echo on it so that receiver has an echo and that should be echo number three of 28 jump down the hole afterwards yeah, there'll be a bit of an um, earthquake because yeah, we're heavier than we look. All that ice cream. This room, it feels. Yeah, but then interact with this sort of air conditioning unit in the corner. And this is going to be your first memory shard. Just pick up the book. You'll get that trophy in Investigator for inspecting 25 objects. Yeah, examine the book and then um, use your insight and it should discover that memory. Just make sure you've actually obtained the memory before you back out guys just make sure that memory has been obtained properly that would be memory shard one of ten you know if it's been discovered properly because when you back out the shapes will still be there completed but the shapes are still broken when you back out it's because you didn't quite complete it properly normally if you've triggered the dialogue that normally means you've um, got the memory shard and then come out to the balcony once the floor breaks go out of body and then make your way over here Come over to this bathroom door. Yes, it's a bathroom door. And look through the hole at the top. Because we are apparently perverts. But we didn't quite see what we were expecting there. After the cutscene, come inside. And um, take out a plug. From the blood bath. And then pick up the razor blade on the bottom for the Edge of Sanity trophy. And then go back to your body and then cut the wall of skin on your left. If you've got events on auto completion in the options I think these are cut automatically as well. You normally only have to scroll down 
uh, but once you've used your razor blade on it, it will cut it automatically. I think I'll use that for a moment to actually look at. Um, yeah, look at the um, uh, at my uh, text guide. Sorry, yeah, and come over to this plant pot and pick up the um, sunflower from the side, and then get another memory shard here, memory shard number two. Yeah, that's a dried up sunflower we just got. Just make sure you get that memory shard in number two. We would have got a trophy, by the way, for getting the first memory shard. It's called I Know the Pieces Fit. And that's for reconstructing the memory shard. Yeah, I didn't mean to go into that room. I got the wrong bathroom. Yeah, so make sure you've got a dried up sunflower. You've got a second memory shard. And then come over here. Come into this bathroom, and on the mirror is another echo. Yep, that should be echo number... Echo number four, four of twenty-eight. But I was too afraid. And then we you want to go back to the balcony and back into the previous room, where you dropped down that hole earlier. Yeah, once you're back in here, you want to interact with the vase and place a dried up sunflower inside it to make a spirit well, and then absorb the energy from it. And then we want to go into this bathroom just through here, interact with the sink, and pick up the note inside. That's Mentors Diaries 1 of 7 and Apology. You get the trophy guide in light for finding the first page. And then pick up the pill bottle and activate your insight to find a memory. Uh, sorry, find an echo. That's echo number five. That's echo number five. Yep, yeah, then we're going to go into the hallway and you want to head away from the camera. Make sure you use your spirit shield to avoid the moths. Yeah, the rabid moths. Make sure you avoid them at all costs. And you should get a trophy, medium rare, burn through the moths using spirit shield. And then once you're in the stairwell, head upstairs. Yeah, you're going to push the laundry basket out of the way. Go through the doorway. And then head forward and cut the wall of skin using the razor blade in the spirit world. Yeah, go in and head right, I think, away from the camera. Don't let the camera catch you. Yeah, more moths, so make sure you're ready to use the spirit shield. And then we're going to enter the room on the left. We're going to interact with the box on the floor, and inside the box it's going to be Troubled Man's Notes 1 of 20, A Peaceful Place. Because that's your first collectible of that type, you'll get the trophy, A Dangerous Method, Find a Note from a Troubled Man, and then interact with the store for a little cutscene. Meet Sadness. It all hit she still looks sad. We will make her happy. That's my goal at the end of this game. Fear. All I need is a magnum. The almond flavour. Come over to this desk, go around to the other side and pick up the flashlight and then pick up small. the small key underneath it and then take the note from the drawer that's guy. Troubled Man's Notes 2 of 20 and that's the to-do list. Don't worry, you don't have to do it all. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to this big clock, you're going to use the small key to unlock it and you're going to change the time guys to 10 past 4. 10 past 4 p.m. not a.m. make sure you get the right one yeah it has to be p.m. so 10 past 4 and you have to move it to the left yeah it doesn't have to be exactly 10 past 4 you just need to go past uh, 10 past 4 going anti-clockwise and then come, uh, come over to the spirit well and absorb the energy And then you want to go back to the clock and you want to change the time past 4.50. There you go, PM. And then come over to this cabinet, go out of body. Go through Someone's in the spirit world and use the spirit blast to activate this electrical box. And make power. There you go. Go back to your material world. Open the cabinet. Activate insight. Move the painting on the right. Press the switch. And that move the cabinet, a little secret doorway. Yep, another brain freeze. Why does it keep coming back to me? 
I've not had an ice cream for one week. I don't understand why. Yeah, come over here, interrupt the worktop, and pick up the illuminated paper. Uh, sorry, the photo paper. It's not illuminated yet. And then you want to pick up the fixer on the chair to the right. Then you're going to come around the, the room in like a clockwise fashion. Pick up the metal tray from out of the basket on the floor. Pick up the multi-grade solution on the shelf. Interrupt the um, caught symbol in the middle. And pick up the note beside it. Troubled man's notes, three of 20, getting stronger. Come towards the camera and take the stop solution from the sink and that's all we need. So now you can do a little puzzle. So come back over to the worktop. Now press a switch on the wall on the right to turn the light on because you need to see what you're doing, right? And we need the red light anyway for the photos, of course. Now you want to place a metal tray in the middle and you want to place the multigrade in the left tray. You want to place stop in the middle tray and then fixer in the tray on the right. Now place the photo paper there, press a button and then wait for five seconds and then pick it up. If you're too long or too short, you'll have to do it again. You'll get the illuminated photo and then first dip it in the solution on the left, the multigrade for three seconds. If you need to keep it longer, just put it in for longer, but if you mess it up, you'll have to get another photo of paper and restart. Once you've got the multigraded photo, place it in the stop solution for three to five seconds. There you go, to get the water bath photo, and then finally, place it in the fixer solution for the same amount of time, about three or, three or four seconds. And then once you pick it up, there'll be a cutscene. So straight after this cutscene, guys, we need to sprint away from sadness. No, I'm lying. From the monster. The ice cream monster. No, more, this is more. So you wanna, you need to run away from him. Just run away, run towards the camera, and you wanna go right when the path forks, and then take another right, and then another right, and then it's left, and then it's right, and then get ready to go left again. You need to be quick on this last one, because more is running at you, there he is. Quickly go left, and then come to this room at the end. Now this next section guys, you need to do it without alerting the monster at all. A lot of guys say you have to not get grabbed, but the actual trophy description does state never alert him. And what that means is you can never, he can never see you, never alert him from his pattern. Even if he doesn't notice you properly, you know, like go, go for you. If you just alert him and he like goes to investigate, that will void it. If you mess it up, just reload checkpoint and try again. I have popped this trophy from reloading checkpoints. Just make sure if you get killed, you actually load game. Do not continue, always load game. Now, as soon as you get into this area, you wanna crouch, always crouch, and come over here, and that small head on that sort of carcass to the left, it's, it's story related to fall off. This will always happen. Just make sure you're crouched. He'll come down, he'll turn around, and now he's going on his fixed story route. As long as you don't alert him, just keep him on his route that you see with me, and then you know that you're doing everything right. If you alert him, guys, like I say, if you alert him or he grabs you, load game, never continue. Always load the game, uh, the last checkpoint. So make sure you stay crouched, otherwise he will hear you. You do make a lot of noise when you're walking, believe me. I did do a bit of testing. You need to stay crouched all the time. Then once you get over here, he'll reappear. Then just stop and wait a second for him to turn around. Now when you're behind him, when you're crouching behind him, I think you have to, if you get too close, he will notice you, well he'll notice something and he'll turn around. Just try to stay, if you imagine the length of his body, try to stay about that distance behind him. You see where I like am, you see where I am now, my distance to him. Do not get any closer to, closer to that when you're creeping up behind him. That's it, just stay behind him, as long as he's doing the same route, you've not alerted him. Stay behind him. That's it. Some guys say to hide here, but it's no need because he's not even looking at you. That's it. Once he starts moving, follow him. He's going to go around. He's going to loop back and go down the other side. But now we're going to go in that hole at the end. Yeah, so I've not alerted him. You can see he's still going forward. But stay crouched. I think this is what a lot, 
I think it's where a lot of people make a mistake. Stay crouched. Get the energy from this spirit well. Stay crouched up until the moths. And then once you get to the moths and you need to run and use the spirit shield, then you can run. There you go. Run, use the spirit shield. And the shimmy across a broken floor at the end for a cutscene. And you get a trophy. You saw, you ran, you lift. You survived a monstrous encounter. Yeah, I think where a lot of people make uh, make mistakes on that, because I've seen a lot of um, posts on the internet where people say they they didn't alert him, but they didn't get a trophy. I think it may look like you're you're clear, you're in the clear, like you're in the next room, you can't see him. But I think even then you can sort of alert him, and maybe you didn't even realise because you alerted him, but then a second after you actually got past the area and the game saved and it despawned him so I think that's something you need to be careful of whenever you're in an, in an area with him I think it's always best to crouch just always crouch even when you think you've passed him don't stand up until I advise you to uh, so once you're back here we're going to follow sadness we're going to come and interact with this radio Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Yeah, we're talking to the radio now. Find Richard. Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? Debbie Room. Okay, so we've got our commands from the radio. Yeah, if you need to update your objective, come and talk to the radio. It'll tell you what you need to do next. Yeah, the radio is your commander. Yes, yeah, so you come down to the day room, interact with the day room door uh, to progress the story, to find out you need a new object. Yep, yeah, what now? Yeah, come to these steps and go left, and there's a note on the floor. This is Troubled Man's Notes 4 of 20, that's Fever Dreams, and they'll also get the trophy Jewel Detective, that's for inspecting 50 objects if you haven't already got that. If you're going for 100%, you can't miss that. A lot of guides, they get you examining loads of stuff you don't need to, First, Thomas. because you get to, Richard. doing the minimum oh, for 100%, you get it anyway. We get, the, we get the trophy for inspecting 100 objects way before the end of the game. And that's inspecting only what's needed for platinum. So um, you're going to drop into the pool area. No, we're not going swimming. Don't worry. I know you probably left your bikini at home. Don't worry, we're good. The water is dried up, as you can see. Just making your way around the outside. I'm going to go into the shower room. Could probably do with a shower, but um, we'll wait till later. Yeah, come to the shower room. and just go through the little crawl space and eventually you'll get into a corridor there's some collectibles in here and the pool area but we're going to do them later don't worry we have to come back in this area because of the story so it's going to get them then yeah come in here yeah don't do that yep I was looking, looking at my notes I was looking at my notes then that's what happened I wasn't trying to show off by changing direction really quickly maybe you thought I decided to drive a quick shower I hesitated uh, but once you get up here into the hallway come towards the camera and you've got Trouble Man's Notes number 520 near camera on the right good old Frank make sure you pick it up and then carry on towards the end of the hallway and you're going to examine the debris at the end and look you find Leon Kennedy left some bolt cutters for us Maybe we're going to see him in this game, Leon and Claire, he knows, right? Whoa. And then once you've done that, come and interact with the mirror. How did you... Yeah, why has he got a bolt cutters? Ah, shit. Inspired by Resident Evil, just because of the bolt cutters. Yeah, interact with the mirror, and then follow the spirit trail. You can either follow me or activate your insight and follow it. Remember to have your insight active anyway if you haven't got a trophy yet anyway. For using insight for 10 minutes. And you want to pick up the spinning top. 
and then use the insights get the echo on it that would be echo number six of 20 uh, sorry six out of 28 and drop down here and then drop down again into the pool hope you can swim yep and pick up the cute teddy toy uh, the doggy and then um, use the insight to find echo number seven out of 28 on it and then climb back up where you just drop down and pick up super ted and on him you'll find another echo echo a of 28 draw back into the swimming pool i'm going to interact with a sign just on the left there uh, sorry on the right malicious sign yeah pick it uh sorry pick it up examine it yeah that's echo number nine of 28 and then climb out the pool beside it and there'll be another malicious sign we can um, examine and find another echo one this will be echo number 10 of 28 yep and then I'm going to go back in the shower room now once you're back in the shower room I'm going to push this laundry trolley to the left and then pick up the toy tank and examine it for an echo just be careful you don't shoot yourself yep examine it for an echo activate your insight Remember to keep using your insight, guys. If you have not popped the trophy yet, for using your insight for, I think in, I think you have to still use it for 15 minutes actually, not 10. Yep. Yeah, and then once you've got that echo from the tank, crawl through the crawl space, come and interact with this locker, and then pick up the white cat figurine inside. Snowdrop, huh? There you go. To progress the story, and then come over here and pick up this rag. Uh, sorry, examine the rag and activate your insight to find an echo. That's echo number 12 of 28. And then come to this box in the corner, examine the note inside it to get grounds, keepers postcards, uh, 4 of 11, someday. And now we're going to go back upstairs and interact with the mirror again for a cutscene. And you'll get a trophy through the looking glass. You used a mirror to cross over. Here we go, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the saddest of them all? It's Marianne. Yeah, you would have thought it'd be sadness, but no, Marianne is the saddest. Because she's got no ice creams left. Uh, yeah, what? so um, you'll get a trophy. And now you're in the spirit world, you want to go up these steps behind you to the right. What's happening? What's happening, mummy? Don't worry, sadness. We're oh no, it's Bernard. Whoa. Sounds like a girl though. Yeah, turn left and uh, examine this corpse in the wall and then skip the dialogue and that should progress the story. And then turn around and it should also progress. Yeah, you get the objective, send Bernard's soul away. And then turn around and come up here and go into the doorway on the right, following the blood. Yep, and then take the energy from the spirit well. Well, someone needs to use it, don't they? And then come out to this wall of skin and cut it with your trusty razor blade. And then come inside here, use the spirit shield and pick up the mask. Inside here is the mask of a boy. Yeah, the reason you can't access all of your items is because the items that you collect in the spirit world can only be used by um, spirit Marianne and the items in the material world can only be used by material Marianne. Yeah, it makes sense, right? I mean, that's how mediums work. I mean, I know that. And I don't know much. Yeah, then come back to the corpse and use the mask of a boy on it. I'm there you go. Send Bernard's soul away. There you go. Be gone with you. Go on. Huh. Scram. Yep. And then pick up the um, pick up the cat behind it. And then on the way back, yeah, more will appear. Quickly run away and go through the doorway on the right and use the mirror. Yeah, that's a black cat figurine which we got. So once you've gone back through the mirror, come into this room and go through a crawl space between the lockers. 
Now be very careful here that you do not alert them. If you think you have, just uh, reload the checkpoint. Now you want to, once you get throughout crawl space, you want to crouch all the way over here. Then once you get beyond this gymnastics equipment, hold your breath once a prompt appears at the top of the screen and now just wait. Make sure you're holding your breath. If you're not holding your breath, because you're close enough, he will he will notice you. And once you've gone through a doorway, you'll hear him fly away. Just carefully don't hold your breath too hard because you might shit yourself. I mean, the air has to come out from somewhere. Yep, so once he's gone, make sure you're, you're sort of sure that he's gone. Um, you know, you actually heard him fly away and the game saved. You can stand up and then you can run in here and use the mirror. And that's a trophy, insightful. That's for using your insight for 15 minutes, I think. So now I've got that, I don't need to use my insight anymore unless I have to for the story. So go through that mirror and then come through here and interact with these two corpses on the right. And then once you examine them, that will progress the story to send away the souls of the other victims. Come through this doorway on the left and then climb up to this floor above. Yeah, it's very important guys when it comes to more that you make sure you never even alert him. If he seems to have taken a different route to what he did to me, it's likely because you alerted him. And so you want to reload the safe and just try that bit again. Yeah, take this mask stuck in the wall, the mask of a man. And then follow the path into a bigger room and then come into the mirror at the end. And then once you get into this conference room, pick up the telephone and you'll get an echo on it. Yeah, pick up the telephone, get the echo. That's echo 13 of 28. Then come in the hallway and then to the room on the left. And you want to go to the ashtray in the far corner on the left. Well, the one is the camera. Pick up the ashtray and there'll be another echo on it. That's echo number 14 of 28. Once got the ashtray, yeah, run a sim, that's running 2k, you'll get that easily before the end of the game. Yeah, pick up the notes and examine number 9 on it. Boris, you'll find out where Boris Johnson was sitting. Yeah, so examine number 9 and then come over to the seat on the left here, the seat nearest to us on the left. That's number 9 and then examine the seat opposite, that's number 4. And then go back around to the note on the table. And now you want to examine number four. And that will discover the name. Now just be careful when you go back into the hallway because more is going to appear. So don't move too fast. Once you hear him appear, crouch. There you go, crouch. And then hold your breath. He's going to go past you in a second. You can smell your soul. Yeah, once he's gone past, stay crouched, come into the conference room and go back through the mirror. I think it's where a lot of people make a mistake. They probably get in the conference room and start running, thinking they're safe, but perhaps they actually have alerted him slightly. Um, there should not like been any sort of on-screen indication or any sound effects to show that you have, but it's just sort of, it's distracted him from his intended route. So crouch all the way to the mirror and head inside. Once in the mirror, you're safe, you can run again. And then once back in here, you want to go back down down the um, ledges to the bottom. Now we're going to go in that mirror which we came through earlier. Then once we're back in the material world, we're going to grab the examination room key uh, between the bin and the little cabinet. And we're going to pick up the telephone next to it, which has another echo one, echo number 15 of 28. Yes, yeah, so pick up the key beside the bin and then pick up the telephone next to it. And on it will be an echo, guys. So I can say echo number 15 of 28. Yep, yeah, then use the examination room key to unlock the door. And once inside here, go left from the camera. Go left as the camera's perspective. 
and in the corner will be a silver bin. Examine it to find groundskeeper's postcard 5 of 11, a scenic view. And now follow the railing around to the opposite end where you'll find another mirror. I'm going to go inside it. And now this is going to be the last sort of encounter with more uh, before we pop the trophy. Uh, so just be very, very careful here. So go through the mirror and I'm going to shimmy along this wall. So if you see more do anything different to what he's doing to me, it's because you've alerted him. And like I say, loads of I know I keep mentioning it, guys, but if you don't get this trophy, you're going to be very annoyed because it means you've got to play the game all the way up to this point again just for a, a chance of getting this trophy. And then you could mess it up again. You've got to basically get through all encounters without alerting him. So once you get through this hallway, start to crouch and he's going to appear on the left. You see him? Hold your breath. That's it, and start following him. Now, he, he went up the left side on here for me, but normally he goes to the right side. So whatever side he goes, just go behind him. Remember not to get too close. Remember, you want to be, I'm probably a bit too far behind. You're going to be within about his height. That's about a distance you want to be as close to him. And then make your way over here and crouch beneath the furniture. Now, I was unsure if he noticed me there, but he didn't. He's just going around. That's, he, just circle, he just circles around that furniture in the middle. And come through here, he'll appear again. Crouch. And then get ready to hold your breath. There you go. And then you make a you want to make your way into that doorway at the end, onto the hallway. As long as you're crouching and holding your breath, and you're not too close, you shouldn't recognize you shouldn't notice you. Yeah, you need to head away from the camera. Remember, stay crouched and keep holding your breath. He can still uh, probably hear you. Yep, yeah, and then once you get through here, that is it. That's all the more encounter. Well, okay. all the more encounters before the trophy, anyway. Oh, and then you want to come in this doorway and interact with the ballerina. No, there. this is Jack's room. Jack was a ballerina. Yeah, that's Jack in his ballerina costume, back in his prime. Yeah, so on the back of that ballerina photo is an echo. That's echo number sixteen of twenty-eight. And then use the nearby mirror to go back to the spirit world. Go through the doorway on the left and take the mask off a woman stuck to the wall behind it of this mirror. Yeah, don't go through the mirror, it's behind it, in the room behind it. Yeah, pick up the mask off a woman. Uh, and still no name. Yeah, but still no name. Did he check the tag on the back of the mask? No, too easy. Okay. Yeah, so go through the mirror, the nearest one, and then come in here and pick up the bangle on the dresser and examine the name on it. Yeah, Ellie and Tori. Yeah, examine the name. And then use your insight and pick up the note on the floor, the torn notebook page. You have to use your insight, otherwise you'll not be able to see that uh, torn note. And then interact with the book near the telephone. And then use the torn notebook page on this book. And you want to examine the three prompts in the middle of the binding. Get through the dialogue and examine another prompt. So all three prompts in the middle. And then once you examine them three prompts, you can examine the phone number. And that should discover the name. The name is Margaret. Oh, and Tori, I mean. Yeah, so Tori, it's you. Murphy, it's you. Yeah, so once you've got the name, you can come out doorway and go into the hallway. And then use a the mirror to go back into spirit worlds. Yeah, this mirror in the hallway here. Yep, and then go across and shimmy, shimmy back along the ledge and go into the mirror that it leads to. To go back into the examination room. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore.
Yeah, so once back in the examination room, you're going to go back into that smaller room where the telephone was for the echo and where we found the key. I'm going to use the mirror in there. So use the mirror here and then go to the two corpses again and use both the masks on the corpses. I think use the mask of the man on the left corpse and the mask of a woman on the right. Um, it's quite easy to work out anyway, it's not really much trial, trial and error you can do here. There you go, Nicholas and Tori, you are now free. Go to heaven. Yeah, come in this doorway behind them and then use the mirror. And then once you come through here, go outside and quickly take the bolt cutters before Leon Kennedy comes back for them. Yes, finally. Yeah, so once you've got the bolt cutters, come through here and interact with the wheelchair because there's an echo on the wheelchair. Use the insight on the wheelchair and that'll get you echo number 17 out of 28. Go out the door into another hallway. Now we can obviously cut the chains on all the doors. So come towards the camera and cut the chain on the door on the right. That's it. Now once you go through here, as long as you never alerted more, in any of them encounters other than as chase sequences you get the phantom trophy there we go so hopefully you got that guys I hope you all did and nobody has any problems with that uh, come down the steps and cut the chain kind of sounds like a spine end cutters bolt cutters yeah I don't know what Marianne's talking about right now Sounds like she's trying to be a YouTuber, right? And just give him random commentary. I would never do that. Yeah, another chain to cut. There's a lot of chains cut in this game. Bolt cutters get plenty of use. Yeah, so, um, cutters. You're going to come through here after using them. And uh, back down towards the day room is. Now, there's a highly missable collectible here. Because you have to... There's not many collectibles you have to backtrack for for being optimal. Most of them are sort of along your route. But this one you have to backtrack for a little, for like a minute or two. So you're going to come back into reception. Do not go into the day room yet. Come into reception. Don't worry, sadness can get a little bit sadder. No, actually, sadness, she can't get any sadder making her wait a little bit longer, can she? Yeah, come over here and cut the chain on the gates. And there's going to be a, um, a note at the end, guys on the table at the end and this will be Troubled Man's Notes 6 of 20 Dust and Death Dust and Death so once you've got that note now you want to go back to the day room unlock it with the uh, with the cutters the bolt cutters and head on through there'll be a little cutscene Here we, go. Here we go. What horrors could be waiting for me in the day room? So first of all, just head straight ahead and cut the wall of skin. There you go, it's a bit scabby. Uh, it's a bit dry as well, it needs some moisturise. But um, as, long, as long as you use your razor blade, you should be able to get through it. And then once you're into the actual day room, turn left, interact with this box, Are you there? Uh, sorry, this horse drawing. And on the horse drawing is another echo. That's echo number um, 18 of 28. And then pick up the mentor stories next to it. That's mentor stories 2 of 7, throwing away greatness. And you also get a trophy for that, psychic sleuth, that's interacting with 100 objects in a single playthrough. And you come over to this table opposite and get the music sheet part 3. That's a key item. And then on this chair is another collectible. This is Mentor's Diary 3 of 7, a well of inspiration. We should give that to Sadness to read. And then come over to the store in the corner, go out of body, come in here and grab the equator. 
Yeah, not literally, just name the item. Yeah, pick it up and then go back to your body and then interact with this uh, blood, the blood um, bag. Interact with the blood bag and um, get the memory. That should be memory shards uh, number three of ten. Make sure you've got that, guys, before you back out. And then pick up music sheet part one of this chair next to it. And come to this nearby room and get another another note on this desk. This one is Mentor's Diary, 4 of 7, a method to sadness. I mean, to madness. There you go. Once you've done that, interact with the globe in the middle. Now, you want to focus on the spirit world. And you want to use the equator. And then the order you want to do this is first, you want to press interact with the button prompt once. Interact with the button prompt again. And then the button prompt again. And then the middle and the bottom. So interact with, interact with each prompt. It's bottom, 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 middle, bottom. That's the easiest way to do it. Yeah, bottom, 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 middle, bottom. And then once you've done the puzzle, you need to rotate the vines around to make a doorway to the balcony in the spirit world. There you go. Once you've done so, release the equator. Put the earth back down on its resting place. Come into the balcony and then come to the next room. Into the music room. And then come over to the piano keys on the desk. Examine them to get another memory shard. This is memory shard number four of 10. And then grab the teacher's room key. There you go, off the desk. And then cut the wall of skin with your razor blade. If you're having trouble, cut the wall of skin. Um, if you put some Nivea cream on it for first, it should make it a bit softer and it'll be easy to cut through. Or, or you could probably get some shaving cream. Sure, sure there's some lying around. Yeah, to cut through the wall of skin. Yeah, pretty gruesome. Then once you cut through it, go to the uh, couch on your right and get that collectible, a very special boy. Mentor's Diary, five of seven. And then come to the store in the corner, which we went through earlier, out of body. And then use the um, teacher's room key to unlock the door to the teacher's room. Inside, go over to the desk in the corner. And pick up the music sheet, part two. And then combine the three music sheets to make the complete music sheet. And then you want to pick up the note on the desk. That's mental story, six of seven, grown apart. And then interact with the glasses beside it. To get another memory shard. That's memory shard number five of ten. And then go to the table in the corner, pick up the pen case, and rotate it to find an echo. Echo number 19 of 28, guys. And now you want to go back into music room, interact with the piano, and use the music sheet on it to make a spirit world appear. Yep, use the music sheet to make spirit well appear to activate it, I guess. There you go, take the energy. Now we can go into the stairwell and into the sort of theatre area. Well, gallery, I don't know what you want to call it. Yeah, use the spirit shield to avoid the moths as you go into the stairwell. Yep, go down the steps. Yeah, so first you want to go to the paintings in the corner opposite and intro to this painting here. And this will get you memory shard 6 of 10. And then we'll go to the table in the nearby right corner where stacked tables are to find another note. This is Mentor's Diary 7 of 7, A New Home. This should get you every single... Uh, all seven of the mentor story and should pop that trophy devouring darkness that's a finding all pages from Richard's diary in a single playthrough if you didn't get a trophy it's because you missed one but most of them are upstairs anyway so you should probably reload the save and get them and then come over here to this doll and get memory shard at seven of ten and then come over to this table and examine the ribbon to get memory shard number eight out of ten now go and interact with the wheelchair in the middle of the room. 
to complete this area and get a trophy. And for a cutscene, you get a trophy of the Child Eater. You experienced your first vision of tea. So the game actually crashes for me here. I... Yep. And um, here we go. Yep, game crashed. But luckily, the um, it didn't glitch a trophy. Luckily. But yeah, this will happen sometimes. And um, you'll find a lot of times when the game crashes, if it does for you, it normally crashes where the save is quite far back. So I think the save now, the last save is right uh, near the start of the day room somewhere. Yeah, so I'm just gonna re I'm just gonna get back there, guys. I'm just gonna edit this bit out because, like I say, it was a crash. Yeah, so here we are. We're playing as Thomas now, Spirit Thomas. And the objective is to um, free somebody from the demons. Yeah, I think it. I think it crashes at the end of this area as well. Like right at the end of the last cutscene, it crashes again. I think I'd. I think I had about four crashes altogether. And the loading games, considering it's a PS5 game, the loading the loading times are quite long, aren't they? I don't think it's quite opt. I don't think this game is quite optimized. So um, you're making way up into the house, uh, but you want to. I mean, not like I've. Not like I've been doing, uh, but you want to use the spirit shield when these things are about to attack, and um, it should destroy them. You don't need. It's not like frame perfect parries. Uh, just parry like a like um, probably like a second before they're about to attack, and that probably like half a second, and that is like the parry window. They'll hit you and they'll burn to a crisp. And then once you get into the house, you want to go left and pick up father's knife from the table on the left. There you go, his little butter knife. Alright, I'll play along. Right, we'll play along. For now. Come on, let's play hide and seek. Father. Right, so you're going to come this corridor, and you, your goal here you, is to get through a door at the end. You know Why don't you keep it? But it's your lucky night. And now it's yours. You'll need it. But this room hallway has a, a funny illusion where it seems like you're not making any progress. Yeah, it just seems the door just keeps seems to be getting further and further away. Uh, but you literally need to do this. You literally need to do this about 20 minutes. So uh, just keep doing this bit, guys. And then um, what I'm 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 just gonna remove the commentary for like the next sort of 20 minutes. While you chase after the door. And then once you catch up with the door, I will come back and surprise you with some ice cream. I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. Oh, and there we go. Wasn't too bad, was it? So once you get into the office... Come around to the desk, examine it, examine the pipe, don't smoke it, don't have time. Examine it inside, open the drawer and um, examine the, the sketchbook inside, come out to the fireplace, examine the medal inside the box, the Victoria Cross and um, examine the photo and then look at the fireplace, pick up the envelope, use father's knife on the envelope. And um, that should trigger some energy on top of the coffin. And then take the corpse's energy. I don't think you'll be needing it anymore. There you go. And once you've got the power of the ten rings, use the spirit blast on the painting. You get the picture. That's it. Now you're in like one of many mazes. Yeah. And I think they're all exactly the same. Just sort of different, uh, different skins. Not literally. Just like one, you know, you, you'll, you'll see when we get there. So once you're in this maze, uh, just go through the maze, follow my path. If you go the wrong way, you sort of hit a dead end anyway, or she will, the dialogue will sort of tell you to come back. Uh, but just keep following the path, the way I'm going. Uh, this little fork, go left. Follow the path around, and once you reach a bench with um, uh, a rag on it, 
and a really nice potato and a donut. Yeah, go right on the camera and then take your first left down this path. Yeah, pause for a minute there because I had to look at the um, text guide to remember. Over here. Now follow this path ahead to find a gazebo. And then once you've got it close enough to a gazebo, it'll warp you, you back into the house. There's actually no collectibles here. And other than the maze, I sort of remember how to do all this without um, you see that? without looking down. It's a big one. We should probably go. Same spot tomorrow? Yeah, if it, if it crashes at the end of Thomas's section, his whole section, you have to do a third maze all over again. That's what I have to end up doing. So once you get close enough to Gazebo, you'll get back here. Well, we're going to go back to the lobby. Yep, yeah, I know. Just try to run a bit faster if you can. Thomas, he runs like he's he's trying to sprint, but he's trying to be quiet at the same time. So I, he's like doing a stealth sprint. Yeah, we're going to help Richard and his mother. Just carrying up the steps near where we found Father's knife. And then start doing your stealth sprint again. But sometimes a brave once it allows you to do it. Enough. Oh, he's given up. I guess he's getting his energy back. He's run. He did a bit too much. He's done a bit too much running. So once you come in this room, you need to interact with the chair on the left. Your stepfather. Just interact with the chair. And he'll say he wants something. Then come over to this table. Use your insight and pick up the bottle. The beer, the empty bottle, fortunately, and then place it on the chair. Stepfather will get really angry and spank you. Come back over to the uh, table and pick up the wedding photo. Still smeared, place that on the chair as well. You still get upset. Real fucking charmer, that one. And then go over to the shelf, use it in sight, and pick up the book on the left, the Book of the Dead. Place that on the chair, and that really pisses him off. There you go, it will break the chair and then what you need to do there, you need to counter attack him to destroy him. There you go, burn him to a crisp. Cut him with your bolt cutters. Yeah, go through the door when it opens. Interact with the bed to get more energy. There you go, power of the ten rings is back in my command. Go past his vines, just use the spirit shield to block them. Reflect the damage back at them. And then once you get into this next room. You're going to um, use the Spirit Blast on the painting again. To go into another maze. Yeah, back in the maze, but at a different point in time. This was the next day. Or the day before. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, carry on along the path. And when it forks... Richard, where are you? Is that a fork? Can you really call that a fork? I don't know. No, I mean this fork here. When you get to this fork here after the green bench with a little picture on it. Take the path on the right and then continue this around Richard, and then take the left, out. take the left for the next fork and now follow the path and this should lead you to the gazebo. Richard! 
Yeah, the, this is pretty much what Thomas sections are like. Loads of running with no effort. Yeah, but there's there's only one more maze we have to go in. Yeah, once you're back in the um, in the house. Okay, Richard, I get the picture. How funny! He gets the picture. He's as funny as me almost. Yeah, go back through the hallway and into the door at the end. And uh, go up the ramp. You have this um, illusion again where it looks like the door keeps moving away from you. It takes a bit of persistence. It's all in the mind. Think you will reach a door and you will reach a door. No, you got really empty your mind. Empty all your mind and all other thoughts. Picture only the door. Getting closer and closer. And eventually you'll reach it. There you go, and it'll open for you. Once you get to the attic, looks like an attic. Uh, come over to the desk and examine the collaborator sign. And then come to the ruined furniture on the left and examine the notes and then come over to the ruined cabinet on the right and examine the box of shinies and that will make a noose drop down do not use it just interact with it and absorb the energy to get the power of the ten rings and then destroy this vine to enter another painting so this is another maze so at the end of this maze, guys, uh, just follow my path again. You have to, you have to go to the end. You have to interact uh, with a rose. Actually, you can see there's some vines this time. You need to interact with a rose bush. It will die. The rose bush will die after you interact with it. And then you need to come back on yourself a little bit and take a different path to reach the gazebo. Very, very, very sort of linear. Other than going to the rose bush. Uh, but once you get to the gazebo, you'll be back in the house, and then all you have to do is absorb the energy from the door head, and then go along the path and use Spirit Blast on the tentacles at the end. And you'll get a trophy then, Unforgiven. You sent the child to eat it away, and then it'll spawn you back as Marianne. Now, the game just crashed for me here. It crashes for me just at the end, and after this whole third maze area again. You took her from me! Um, but yeah, so what I'll say, I mean, if you're not watching cutscenes, these cutscenes in particular where it crashes for me, just let them play out for like 30 seconds or so. So I think, I think during the cutscenes it's loading the next area. I think sometimes if you go through it too quick, it can crash the game. I, I don't know. Um, but I'm just thinking about the long loading times and um, how sometimes it just seems like maybe the game needed a bit longer to load it, and when you skip a cutscene, it doesn't like it. I don't know, um, but yeah, I'm just going to go quiet for a minute, guys. Let you get through the next area of Marianne, and um, I see you in a second. You see, you see the game crash for me, but I will edit it out.
pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me, but different somehow. Yeah, so that's another five minute lost on my platinum time, just because of the bloody crash. Yeah, each of these crashes I get, that's like five minutes gone. By the time I load the game back up and get back to where I was. Yeah, that's a trophy you'll get, guys. Unforgiven. I did mention that earlier, you sent the child eater away. So you'll, you'll spawn in the forest uh, with Marianne. This bit's quite linear in the forest, actually. Uh, so what I might do is just pop up when there's a useful item to pick up. There's one to begin with. Uh, just make your way down the path until you get to the cross junction. And go left. And on the first bench you come to will be grounds keepers postcards. Six off 11. Won't stop. Yeah, this bench here. Pick it up. Yeah, like I say, six off 11. Pick it up. And then come over to the telephone. And examine the receiver to find another echo. This is echo number 20 of 28. Yeah, then go back to the junction now, and now you want to take the top path to reach a clearing. In the clearing, there'll be like a, a sort of view and scope. And just on the bench to the right of that is another groundskeeper's postcard, 7 of 11. Poor thing. Yeah, so this is a clearing on the bench to the right of the view and scope. Yeah, pick up the postcard, guys. Poor thing, 7 of 11. Yeah, then once you've got that, you want to carry on down the next trail to the right. And then once you see the path, uh, sorry, the fork, you're on the path now, of course you see it. Yeah, you see this little fork, you want to go left. I don't know what takes us right, but yeah, go left. And the first bench you come to has a note. Yeah, trying to get caught in the log. It's too difficult to step over it. We have to run around logs. Yeah, so pick up the note on this bench. That is a groundskeeper's postcard, 8 of 11. Harder and harder. Yeah, then you want to carry on forward along the path. Uh, just keep on going straight. You might, you will see a branching path on the right, but you just want to ignore it. Uh, but just carry on going forward, and eventually reach a broken bridge, which you will um, have to go under. Yeah, just carry on, guys, um, and and um, I'll see you just after the next cutscene, which we get. Yeah, so once you meet the dog, do not go near him. He'll try and attack you. You want to go to the right. Yeah, ignore what the game says. It's a trick. Go right. And just hidden on the left is another bench with another postcard on side. This is Grand Keeper's postcard. 9 off 11. Whispers in the dark. Yeah, now we're going to face the dog full on. We're going to face our fears. Go towards the dog. And it will become friendly. There we go. Cute little thing, really. This dog would never be, it would never bite you. Friend. It's been brought up really well by Jack himself. And he's had plenty of ice creams in his time. He never, this dog never ever got brain freeze. That's why he's so happy. So carry on through the woods. I'll just, I'll stick with you for a moment because, um, yeah, I think I got stuck on a grass there, a piece of grass. Very, very thick piece of grass. Yeah, carry on over here, go right, and you'll find a camp area. What is it, boy? Uh, be somebody having a nap. You want to show me something? Anyone in there? Hello, it's me, Marianne, the medium. 
Is there any ice cream around? Yeah, so after the cutscene, uh, come straight up to this bench and grab the um, groundkeeper's postcards, 10 off 11, a new companion. Then interact with 10 again. Pick up the note by the shoe. The last groundkeeper's postcards, 11 off 11. Regrets, and you'll get the trophy. All that's left unsaid. That's for finding all of Frank's postcards in a single playthrough. Then you want to pick up the staff photo and then examine the corpse and then you get a cutscene. Now you need to escape the monster. Fuck. This is very simple guys, just keep running forward. He'll try to taunt you by saying he's going to wear you, wear your skin and just some weird taunts like that. But yeah, just keep running away. Try to lure him into the, into the puddles if you want because he's scared of water. Hopefully he'll trip over in the puddle. Yeah, he wants a skin suit. Very weird, he's got some very weird desires, this guy. Yeah, you can't really go wrong here. But I think if you do I think if you do slow down, you could get hit. Yeah, watch out for the trees on the left and the right. And the rocks and the sand. Just keep running. Keep running like your life depended on it. Like the ice cream shop's about to close and you need to get there. Quickly. There you go. And he'll fall through the bridge. Because he's heavy. Yeah, so now you're in the ruins. So you want to climb up this ledge. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just do the sound effects like Marianne. They climb down this one. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah. And then climb down this ledge. Uh, yep, and then climb down another one. <laughs> yep, yeah, we're down it. So come across a bridge. And then come across this plank on the right to the north. Now, I think if when you're going across these narrow planks. Marianne will be trying to... I don't know why she's losing the balance there. She's not even above the um, drop yet. She's still actually over the, over the ledge. What? <laughs> so I don't know why she didn't just step off. But yeah, I think if you hold forward too... F if you hold forward too far on the analogue sticks, that makes you lose your balance more often. So just try to tilt the analogue stick a little bit. And you, s you seem to get across... This isn't real. Uh without losing your balance as much. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, I can't really put a finger on exactly what it is, uh, but it's just seemed to me that if you don't tilt as, as much forward on the analog stick, then you don't use your balance as much. Uh, when you come in here, you want to push this metal racking out of the way, so you can get through the doorway. And then you want to squeeze through the wall space opposite. We will encounter more in this area, but it doesn't matter if you get seen or anything. Uh, we've already got a trophy, Phantom, uh, for getting past his first few encounters without Where alerting him. So come down here, you'll hear Jack moaning. I, I've helped you pass on. We helped him pass out. I shouldn't be here, man. Yeah, it's a figment of your imagination. Don't listen to it. Yep, I wasn't looking at the screen then, that's why I got caught on that rack. It's too... Open the gate. Yeah, shortly in a minute you're going to be chased, so be ready. You need to be on top alert. It all ends... ...with me. In, in me? Oh, he wants me to go in. Okay, yeah, so quickly run to the end. Be ready, uh, spam square so you go straight below this crawl space. And then once you get through here, you want to walk because interact, interacting with this bent mixer is a little bit awkward. I don't know why. If you get too close to it, the interaction prompt disappears. So just walk close to it, and once the prompt appears, press square and then pull cement mixer back. Don't start rotating it. We're not in the means of uh, mixing cement and doing a bit of labouring. Just pull it back to make. 
a door appear. Yeah, pulling the cement mixer back actually makes a magical door appear and it stops more from getting to you. And you can go past and use your bolt cutters on the fence. And then come the steps and use the bolt cutters on this gate as well. And then that should take us back outside. Yeah, you want to go through the archway at the top and pick up the old gas canister over here leaning against the fence panel or the roof panel I think it's a roof panel yep and then come up here and for some reason there's a bridge which has been chained up by a chain I don't know you need to cut it with bolt cutters weird uh, but yeah cut it climb up and then do a 180 come along this ledge and then go across some more planks Yet yeah, here, like if you don't push as far, if you don't push as hard on the analog stick, you don't seem to lose your balance as much. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I was lucky. Oh, my friends! It must be Sadness and Jack. Oh yeah, of course, yeah, Jack. Who else? What about Tori or Nicholas? Are they here too? Yeah, so once you get to that grass opposite, more is going to appear. And what you need to do, you need to get into the cruise, uh, the little wall space, squeeze between the wall and the far left corner, here. Yeah, well, I had a nasty little death here, so I had to reload. So you know how to avoid more by now, just make sure you crouch, don't get too close to him and hold your breath. Now normally he'll walk away to, to the exit we need to take and he'll stand there. But when you walk up here you automatically always um, scale him birds away and that will attract him for a moment. And if you're quick enough and quiet enough you can go past him on the right and then quickly get to that gap in the wall ahead which you need to get through. Once you get through there just press square to go through and it will get past him. If you don't, if you're not quick enough and he's blocking that hole you can either reload or try again. or there's a little contraption on the wall, just on the left. You interact with that and that will release uh, release an object which will distract him and he can get through the wall that way. So you can either use the birds to distract him to get past or use a contraption on the left to distract him and then get in that wall. Uh, once you're in here, make your way across and to this wall and shimmy across it. I'm going to pick up the lever. We've got the old gas canister, uh, which I guess has got gas in it. I think fuel can deteriorate, can't it, until it can't be used no more. I don't know. But apparently, this is still okay to use. So, come to this lever. At least this could come in handy. Yep, yeah, pick it up. I'm sure the lever's going to come in handy for something. So, Moore is going to scream like a scared dog. It seems he's scared of lightning or electricity. If only I had my spirit blast. So come over here and you want to, yeah, release the ramp which has been tied up with a chain. Yeah, just make sure you cut it. Yeah, then you want to go to the generator. Now we've got all the tools that we need. Yeah, we're going to interrupt the generator. We're going to take off a cap. Don't bother putting it back on, just lob a cap away, just lob it all over, I don't know, just lob it over that bridge ahead or something. Don't need it no more. And then use the gas canister on the hole to put the fuel in, then press a button to start the generator, and then leave the generator, and then interact with the lever, uh, sorry, the, the switch on the wall, I guess, and then use the lever on it to open the gate. And then start pushing the generator along the track, and you'll see what will happen something electrifying and shocking all at the same time Come to me. you want me all right i'm coming hold on mate i'm almost there there i am and you get a trophy guys thunderstruck he did he did ask me to go to him that's it you could it's probably a good idea not to go in the water because it's electrified but who cares 
So to go in the water, we have rubber shoes on. That's why we're not getting electrified. I have my rubber trainers on, my plimsolls. Yeah, so come through here, open the gate and come down. Yeah, so you'll be back in the forest, facing the wrong direction. So just simply turn around and come along here. If you drop anything, make sure you pick it up like your bolt cutters. Yeah, so if they drop out your pocket, pick it up, pick it up. Come over here and you'll meet Sadness. She's having a very sad tea party. <laughs> and you'll get brain freeze. Brain freeze always comes at the worst time. Gone. Yep, and then just like that, brain freeze will be gone. Marianne even comments on it. So once you're here at the um, at the ruined house, you want to interrupt this bike wheel and use the insight to find another echo. Um, this is echo number 21 of 28. And you want to pick up the cigarettes to the left of the house and examine them for another echo. This is echo, uh, sorry. Yeah, this is echo number 22 of 28. And then come to the workshop, pick up the little horse toy and examine it for another echo, echo number 23 of 28. Put it down and examine the photo above it. That's Troubled Man's Notes 7 of 20, Hell's Angel. Yeah, once you've got that, come in here and pick up the tape recorder on the floor on the left and examine it for another echo. This is echo number 24 of 28. You should get a trove here as well. This is follow the trail that's for finding all of Henry's echoes in a single playthrough. And then come over here and pick up the doll. A little Chucky like doll. And then we're gonna come back outside, place a doll on the bench to make a spirit well appear to give it energy. And then you wanna take the energy. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Yeah, don't take it too early, otherwise that'll happen. Yeah, take it, and then what you want to do, you want to go back into the sort of mechanic area, the garage. Because this next bit, is, it's time sensitive. When you turn the power on, it will come on for a few seconds and then it will go off. And we need to quickly press a button in the garage before it goes off. So you go into garage, go out of body, and then come around the back here. There is a, there is a bar at the bottom right that shows you how long you can be out of body before you die. you just got to make sure you go back into your body, but you've got plenty of time before it expires. You're going to climb up here, come into the top of the house, the attic, and use your spirit blast to activate power on the electrical panel. Then quickly come around the back of the mechanics hole, press a button on the floating um, a switch to pull up the engine. And that's all we need to do the power for. Once you've done that, interrupt the suitcase and get the echo from it, echo number 25 of 28. And then pick up the note below it on the shelf, that's troubled man's notes, 8 of 20, something broken. And then come into the mechanics hole and pick up the hydraulic jack handle on the floor at the bottom. And then you want to go over to the garage door and use the jack handle on the jack. This looks like it could lift and then interrupt the lever to jack it up and then duck below the um, duck below the door. The game crashes for me here actually at the end at the end of this next bit where we get a cutscene. Uh, but there is a save here. Uh, yeah, there's a save. See the icon in the bottom right. There is a save there. It was then that I knew. Uh, so it's not like I have to do too much. Uh, but once you're here, you want to head up to the steps, and that should trigger the house to start burning. The doorway is supposed to be on fire as well. I'm not sure that indicates it's going to crash. You see that the left side of the house is on fire, but it, it should all be on fire. I mean, you should see a fire straight through the middle of the doorway, but you don't. I don't know why, it's just some sort of glitch. Uh, but once you trigger the fire, come down here and interact with the basket on the left with the aerosol can, and you get a memory shard. That's memory shard number 9 of 10. And then follow the spirit trail around to the left side of the house, and you'll find a gas canister. Examine this for, for the last memory shard, 10 of 10, and for trophy, trophy push in out of the past reconstruct all memory shards in a single playthrough. And then once you've got that, come back over here and interact with the objects on the floor. There you go. And that should be a cutscene, but it crashed for me. So I'm just gonna edit that bit out, guys. 
Right, so after that crash, another one. I think I've got one more crash to go, actually. And then we're good. Um, yeah, so after that, you'll get a trophy, the Hound. Um, you experienced your second vision of Thomas. Okay, let's see who you really are. Yeah, so we should have, at this point, you should have 30 out of 40 trophies. So this is the second part of Spirit Thomas. So this part is very, very linear, and it's also a little bit red. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave this bit. I'm gonna let you guys watch this bit. I'm not gonna give any commentary. Like I said, it's very, very linear. Um, but what I will say is, you keep following the path. There'll be some times you have to use like a, your spirit force to remo to move the objects. Very easy, just watch what I'm doing. Hold square and then hold away. Um, where there's a gap and you'll knock it out of the way. There's two rooms you enter where you have to do something. The first room you enter, you have to interact with the monitors and examine the monitor on the right. There'll be some dark, there'll be a little bit of dialogue and then that will make it so you can interact with the desk. And then you interact with the desk and you can pick up the reel tape on the desk and you place a reel tape on the player and then press a the play button. And then the door on your left will open. So interact in the first room, interact with the monitor, then the desk, pick up the reel tape, place it on the player, and then press play, and they can go out the door on the left. Follow the path again. Eventually though, there'd be one point where you have to avoid uh, the enemy, but it's not really too difficult. Um, if you're quick, you can go straight through a crawl space, and it doesn't take too much damage from you. Uh, there'll be a point where you have to press a switch to move some, uh, move some cattle, move some cattle along. You can make a baker sandwich along the way if you want to. Plenty to go around. Um, and then when you enter the second room, the second room you'll eventually get to, you'll have to um, you have to examine the mirror, uh, sorry, examine the glass, and then shortly after you want to um, examine the ID and the newspaper clipping on the table. Then you go over to the desk, use the insight, take the reel tape from the drawer, use the reel on the player, press play again, and that will open the door in the other room. Yeah, this is that first room I'm on about. And then along the way, there may be a few things where you'll see me just interact with like just one random thing to progress the story. Uh, but yeah, other than that guys, this bit is very, very linear. So just get through this bit. Obviously you can follow my lead if you want to. And um, I'll pick it back up once back with Marion. Where's all collectibles? No collectibles in this bit with Thomas. So have fun guys, and hope you don't get red eyes. Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Anything to say in your defense? I'm sorry, Henry. Shit. Don't you hide from me. There you I... are. Bad boy! I know you're here. There Just... you are.
Where are you, boy? Every hand is the motions against the ground. Always against the wood. Always against the wood. Steady hand, even motion. Always against the wood. Don't you hide from me! Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't... I'm holding you down. Welcome to the family. Not good. Oh, big fucking hell. shit. Almost got me this time.
are you, you four-legged fuck? <laughs> Can't get me up here, can you? Yeah, one thing I need to say here, I accidentally pick up a note by this door. This note isn't needed. I picked it up by mistake. This note here on the left, Mom, Daddy and Me. It is a cute little drawing, but yeah, we don't need that. So you see me pick it up just for a moment, but I don't mention anything because we don't need it. Other than what I'm telling you now. Business trip, short notice. Couldn't be helped. Say goodbye to him. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. I have work on my mind. I see. Then again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Whatever you wish, dear. Simon, where are you, boy? Dad? Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. Now, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes Daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? Won't work on me, old man. Yeah, quite a long, a long sort of linear section, wasn't it, guys? That bit. Yeah, I would have spoke for it, or I've just got a lot. I've got a lot of videos to do this sort of next few days. Uh, I've got inside to do, I've got to catch back up with Kina, I've got this, so I'm just trying to save a bit of time where I can. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so linear that part, I mean it's not like I have to explain anything. Uh, but yeah, you'll be back here, I've not had no crash since my last one, luckily, where I mentioned it, uh, when we um, set the house on fire. So you'll be back here with Marianne, she's woken up, she can smell the ice cream. Okay, Mary. So you come in here, you'll get a trophy. We've got that repentant trophy earlier and we just got among the ashes, another story related trophy. Uh, come in here and you want to pick up the um, framed family photo by this broken stairwell. And then come to this nearby little room, pick up the note that is Troubled Man's Note, nine of 20 demons. Come back into this main room and pick up the round framed family photo. And then you want to go to the fireplace and you want to pick up the wedding photo in the middle. Now, in order from left to right, you want to place a wedding photo. 
and then you want to place the, the round family photo and then on the end on the right you want to place a square Perfect. family photo that should trigger the fire to illuminate for a second that will indicate that the mirror we can now use it so now you want to head over to the mirror and go inside Yeah, see what's on the flip side. So in here, you know, come over to the fireplace and you want to pick up the mask beneath it, the mask of joy. This looks, yeah. And you want to come over to this sort of egg type sack. Don't worry, there's no face hooker going to burst out and jump on you. Just cut it open with your, um, wow, she cut through that fast, with your razor blade. And then pick up the red butterfly from inside. Make sure you do pick up the red butterfly. Don't cut it and then run off. Because I think it does leave, it does leave the interaction window after you cut it. You need to interact with it again to pick up the red butterfly. So once you've got the red butterfly, come back through the mirror, come over to the dollhouse, take the toy mirror from the bottom floor, and you want to place it on the top floor, on the top left, should I say? Yeah. So take the toy mirror from the bottom floor, place it on the top left floor, and then go back through the mirror. I knew it. The dollhouse, the mirrors, it's all connected. Now you want to come over to the bed, interact with the pillow and move it to find the mask of calm. Yep, and then once you've got that, come over to this egg sack, cut it open and then you want to take the blue butterfly from inside it. Yeah, and the fish toy. Yeah, that's the blue butterfly. The fish toy is just on the table to the left. Yeah, make sure you do not forget the blue butterfly. And then go back through the mirror. Now go back over to the dollhouse, take the toy mirror, and now you want to put it on the top right room. And then go back into the mirror. Now go to the hanging toy nearer the camera, come towards the camera. Come over to the sort of um, baby mobile sort of thing and use the fish toy. Really? There you go. And that should make the wall of skin disappear. And you can take the white butterfly. Once you've got that, come to this egg sack in the corner, cut it open and get the yellow butterfly. Yeah, make sure you take the yellow butterfly and you want to come over to the little chest at the end of the bed, interact with it and you've got to place all the butterflies on it in the correct order. So from left to right, you can look, you can sort of see the shape of the butterflies. It tells you what ones you need to do what order. But it, from left to right, you want to place the red butterfly, then the yellow, then the white butterfly, and finally the blue butterfly. So from left to right, okay. uh, red, yellow, white, blue. And that should open it. And from inside, you can take the mask off wonder. Go back to the mirror, into the material world. Go to the dollhouse, take the toy mirror and place it back in the top left bedroom. And then go back through the mirror again. Now come towards the camera to find a wall of skin. Cut it open with your razor blade. Yeah, put some shaving cream on it first if you need to. Yeah, cut it open. And um, there's going to be three heads you need to put the masks on. From left to right, you're going to place the mask of joy, mask of calm, and mask of wonder. Yeah, so from left to right, joy, calm, and wonder. Then after it, you'll get a trophy, the pact, you'll uncover the mystery of the burned down house. Now, quickly, once you've done it, go back through the mirror because loads of moths are going to appear and they're going to nibble at you. They're going to nibble at your ears and your ankles. So, quickly get through the mirror. That's it. Wave your hands around if you want, if you think it's going to scare them away. And then once you get outside, the mirror should shatter. That's 10 years bad luck for that. And then come down into the basement. Once in the basement, turn right or left as the camera looks at it, I guess, when the camera turn changes view. And after the dialogue, interact with this little rack on the left here for a note. This is Trouble Man's note, uh, 10 of 20, the missing piece. And then come to the wine cellar and then pick up Trouble Man's note 11 of 20. Found a way. Found a way to the missing piece. And then come here and you're going to find a shoe. 
Yeah, this is shoe number two. Yeah, examine this shoe for echo number 26 of 28. Remember that echo we found in the hotel? This is its matching one. We have now have a new pair of shoes. You can change your shoes if you want, make you run faster. Come in here and examine the teddy bear for echo number 27. And then come over to the syringe, examine the syringe for the final echo, echo number 20 of 28. And hopefully the trophy calling out to me find all echoes in a single playthrough. And then come to this cabinet to the right and get troubled man's note 12 of 20, a different kind of sickness. So I found a way to the missing piece and it's a different kind of sickness. Yeah, then you want to come through this little hole in the wall, come over to the key panel and input the code um, 937, no that's Resident Evil, uh, 1966. Yeah, put in the code 1966, head down the stairs for a brief cutscene and be ready to sprint away from a creature. Try not to get caught on anything because you can die here if you do and you get held up for too long. I say that because, no I did, of course I didn't, I just know somebody else that did. Okay, tell a lie, I did die. I let him catch me. Right, so let's try again. Oh not brain freeze, comes always comes at the worst moments. Yeah, you don't have to get far, just get to the end of the corridor. It's not far, you shouldn't die. If you die during this, you are really, really bad. So yeah, once you get here, you are now in the fallout shelter. Turn around and get the troubled man's notes ahead of you. Trouble, troubled man's notes, 13 of 20, separation. Yeah, then go through the doorway on the left and follow the path into a sort of open chamber with catwalks. I think this one is, I think it's a west chamber. I'm getting them mixed up. Yeah, you want to cut the wall of skin first. Yeah, once you get in here, you want to go out of body and then tell its path down here and follow it to a spirit well and absorb the energy. Yeah, once you've got the energy, go back into your body and then just follow the path I take. Eventually you'll reach a electrical flooring. You'll see a sort of few branching paths, but they don't really lead anywhere. They're all sort of blocked off uh, at the moment. Yeah, once you get, the electric get to the electrified flooring, don't go on it because it hurts. Instead, you want to interact with the lever beside it to um, deactivate it. Yeah, here. Just pull the lever. There you go. At least there's power somewhere, I guess. Mm. Yeah, so once you're in here, pick up the note on the left side of the control panel. And that's Troubled Man's Note 14 of 20, a relic of the past. And then open the door on the left by pressing the button. They go out of body and use the spirit blast near this electrical box to give power back to the control panel. Just completely ignore that electrical floor, it doesn't mean anything. So what we need here, we need the west chamber and wad tank one to have no pressure, to have no pressure. So you want to press the right arrow on wad pump one and then yeah, you should have the west chamber, no pressure and wad tank one, no pressure. Yep, so once you set that up, all you have to do is press right once on uh, water pump. What's it? Water pump one, and then you can come through here. That basically, what what that does, it sort of drain it drains water in certain areas of the shelter. Yeah, just ignore more. We shouldn't run into him. Yeah, come back through here and down the steps and all the way to the bottom. And use the spirit shield here to get through the moths and then turn the valve at the end. And then go out of body and get this, get the energy from the spirit well nearby. Then head back through the wall of moths and you want to head back up to the control room now. Just take the same path you just came down, yeah back up to the control room. 
Then when we get to the control room, we need to interact with the control panel again. I'm so glad you're here. And they need to make it so um Never so the east chamber and water tank no. two are empty. Next. Yeah, so next you want the uh -oh. east chamber no pressure and water tank Brand. two with no pressure. You. So all you do you send you see central chamber will have maximum pressure. You send that all the way to the west chamber and then send the pressure from the west chamber down to the water tank one, like so. And then you start sending the pressure all the way to the left and same No, that's the wrong button. Yeah, same with the east chamber. Yeah, so all you need you just want the east chamber to have no pressure and you want water tank two to be empty as well. Like so. So the two on the right should be empty. That's it, we'll get some dialogue to say you've done it correctly. And then you want to go out the doorway on the right. And then make your way back. And once you get to the stairwell, take the staircase downwards. Yeah, so you come down here, you want to go all the way to the end until you reach a locker. And when you, re when you reach the locker, you need to cut it open with the bolt cutters. And um, inside will be the valve. And you come back to that pipe which you just passed, the glowing red pipe. Use the valve on it and then rotate it. And that will do that one. You're going to lose 10 minutes in a second, by the way, because there's a trophy we need to just leave the game winner for 10 minutes. Uh, well, not you, you can't just leave it, you do have to come back to it like every minute or so. Yeah, use the valve on this and then rotate it. That's it. With both the valves done, we now just need to head back up to the control panel and do one more little combination on it. Now what we need, we need the central chamber empty and the east, uh, the east chamber empty. So central chamber and the east chamber empty. So back up to the control panel. Yeah, don't worry, like I say, you shouldn't encounter more. You get, you encounter near the end. But I just think he keeps popping up to try and scare you. Yeah, so you want the central chamber empty and the east chamber empty. So what you'll need to do, you, you've already got uh, something in the, in the left too. You now need to send it to the bottom right one. There you go. Central chamber and the east chamber empty. And then you get our trophy guys, dark water. That's for making it through the pump station. Not through yet. We just got to do that last puzzle. There you go. Now, all you need to do now, guys, you see I'm out of body. Just stand here and go out of body until you pop the trophy, spirit walking. That's suspended 10 minutes outside your body. By now, you've likely done it for about one or two minutes. And this does actually update um, as time passes in the trophy activity card. It does update, so you can check your progress on there. But yeah, you've likely done it for about one or two minutes. You've got about eight minutes left. But yeah, you can see the gauge on the bottom right. Just go out of body. And then when it's almost depleted, go back to your body to refill it. And then go out of body again. And just keep doing that, guys, until you pop the trophy. And I'll pick it up just after. Of course, I'm going to edit that out. I'm just not just going to stand there for eight minutes doing nothing. While my body just fades away. Okay, and there we go. It should pop in a second. Spirit walking. Yeah, see that? It just said 99% quickly. There we go. Spirit walking. So once you pop that trophy guys, we need to head back down to where that locker was, uh, which we found the valve inside. And now you can actually go into the room behind it, which is open. It's gonna be a little encounter of more. Uh, but if you need if you need spirit energy guys, when you come down this first set of stairs, go left into the central chamber. And if you remember, we came down here earlier uh, at the start, there's a spirit well just through that doorway there, and you get more energy if you need it. Uh, but as long as you've got half, off your gauge left of your energy you should be okay so yeah come downstairs to where a locker was now um, when you get past locker it's going to go into slow motion because a lot of moths are about to um, assault you don't run straight ahead because otherwise there's a cutscene which will deactivate your spirit shield and the moths will still be there damaging you you just want to wait for the moths to come to you and then you want to block and then run ahead that's it and you should get through without dying like I did now here what you need to do is, so there's more you need to activate that panel just to the left of him in the material world uh, but if you look at this door you see that doorway there 
it's locked in material world, but it's open in the spirit world. If you run through there in your out of body form, run through there, and more will chase you, and you can go back go back into your body, and it sort of it, he gets sort of stunned, like so. So run through that doorway. There you go, and then go back to your body, and just go and activate the panel quickly. Yeah, that bit's pretty easy if you do it that way. Yeah, you'll get the worst case of brain freeze ever. Yeah, you'll get that trophy. Uh, what trophy was it? Oh, you didn't get one. But the vault will open, and more will fly away. Then brain freeze got to him in the end. I knew it would kill him. Come over to his lever power system, push anyone down to break it and then take out a fuse to find out that you need a new one and then come down here to the shelf and then pick up the troubled man's notes 15 off 20, a thin line yep and then come back into the corridor turn left and follow the corridor all the way to the end and you'll find a green light yep go into the room past it which is Lily's room and interact with the table on the left and pick up Troubled Man's notes 16 off 20 alone. Yep, this note is all by itself. There it is. Pick it up. It actually works. I don't know what works, but it does. Yep, come to green light and take the fuse from underneath it. There you go. Lily's not going to be needing any light in the room no more. Yep, and then head back to the power system. In insert the new fuse and you want to flick down the first and second lever yeah so insert a new fuse put in the first and second lever and the fourth lever so leave the third one off but put the others down to on that should start the power and then come to the yummy kitchen area very hygienic kitchen and take the note off the table on the right this is Troubled Man's note, 17 of 20, just me and her. And then interact with the mirror to update your objective to find the missing mirror pieces. Yep, pick up the mirror piece on the kitchen counter for mirror piece number one. So far, so good. Come into here and then go left into the washroom. Pick up the mirror piece on the floor. It's got a bit of piss on it, yeah. uh, so you might want to wipe your hands first. Yeah, but yeah, pick it up maybe just use a tissue to pick up, it's probably a bit more hygienic and then come carry on through here take the next door on your left which you take into like a sort of living room area pick up the note on this shelf that's Trouble Man's note 18 of 20 keeping distance and then pick up this one that's 19 of 20 the business card and then pick up the third and final mirror piece and then now to pick up the final Trouble Man's note 20 of 20 come to the investigation board interact with it Whatever and then pick up the note on. below it which is hypothesis and that's the final note guys and it should pop the trophy an unknown outcome find all of Thomas's notes in a single playthrough I hope you got that yeah because then once they're sort of scattered throughout the whole playthrough um, once you've got all the mirror pieces obviously you've got all the collectibles you've got the trophy come back into the kitchen and place all the mirror pieces into the mirror to fix it yep Mirrors can be repaired. You've seen here firsthand how to repair a mirror. There you go, the big cutscene. Mirror, mirror on the wall. And there it was. And there it was on the wall. Yeah, so this is pretty much the end of the game, guys. All you got to do here, all you got to do now, is um, you're going to spawn in another forest. Just make your way towards the lake, and then you get final two trophies. I can't always save everyone you finish a game and completionist collect every other trophy yep so yeah that's it guys my guide for medium uh, how long's it taken uh, what two hours two hours 12 minutes yes yeah, I mean I cut out I cut out the time it take to um, do the spirit walk in for eight minutes I cut out my crashes so yeah it's like a sort of like a two hour 20 minute platinum really I mean if you're following this playthrough as long as everything works out fine you know and um, especially that phantom trophy well it's probably the, the troubled man's notes one which is the worst or the echoes 
because if you miss out you've got to go through all the rest but with the phantom trophy it's only like the first hour well first I think 15 minutes but yeah it's not I don't think it's worth the full retail value at all this game but being free on well sort of free on PS Plus you can't really complain it's worth it's worth a um, it's worth a play but they obviously took a lot of vibes they took a lot of inspiration from Silent Hill and from Resident Evil with their item usage hence bolt cutters and stuff <laughs> um, but yeah the medium I guess I'm doing inside as well Takina and then perhaps on to the next Plague Tale game but we will see uh, but all we want to do is get through this forest it's a little bit cold yeah that's why I've got my arms folded it's chilly out here it's like 5 a.m. in the morning and I've got no ice cream to warm me up there you go after the cutscene your probably last three trophies brain freeze no brain freeze is not the name of platinum that's it guys completionist yeah so that's my medium guide like I say I've got you're here so I'm not gonna say I've got a text guide you're here if you got this far then you watch the whole guide you don't need it anymore so yeah thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one